Hi internet, it's me, Francesca. Recently, my video on how to apply lip tint for uneven, hyperpigmented lips has been getting a lot of traction. And I got this message on Instagram. It was from a guy and he was asking how to do that technique but for guys. Meaning, how do you do it without making it too obvious that you have makeup on? And although I gave him this full how-to on what to do, I don't feel very helpful because I did say that the most crucial part is getting your shade right, which in itself is a very big instruction. Recently, I also have been watching Robert Walsh a lot and in one of his videos, he taught how to mix your own foundation shade using just the primary colors. And I thought I could do the exact same thing with lips. Now, the first step in this tutorial is getting your shade right by mixing your own lip color. I know that that sounds super intimidating if you don't like draw or paint or do arts, but just hold my hand, I will totally walk you through how I mix my own lip color. How I would go about this is I would mix paint and then swatch it on my lip, adjust, swatch, adjust, swatch over and over until I find my perfect shade. I also referred to the most prominent color on my lips, which is for me the dark outer part of my lips. Now my first complaint about the color of my lips is that they're really really gray, almost like bluish gray, like I'm dead. And so that's the first thing I mixed up, some gray with a little bit of blue. Now when I swatch it on my lip, well of course my lips are not really gray, they're more like purplish so i added in a bit of red now when i mix in the red it turned out to be this muted purple and when i swatch it on my lip it was a little bit too intense so i had to dial it back down make it lighter but instead of just making it lighter with white i made it lighter with a light gray because if i just mix it with white it's just gonna make it this milky lavender color so we have to keep a little bit of that black just to make it just to keep it muted and not make it pastel so when i swatched this on my lip i could see that i was a really really great placement in terms of how light or how dark it is it is the exact same tone still it's still too purplish and my lips aren't purple they are more brown and so this was a time that we need to add in like a lot of brown and we do that by mixing blue and yellow to make green and red to make it brown now when i swatched this on my lip it was really really close as you can see but it still needed a little bit more yellow to warm it up a little because it's still a bit grayish so i decided to remove all of the swatch swatches on my lip and apply that we are really 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 close but i feel like it's still way too gray and so i added a little bit more red and this is how it came out the other one was more accurate this one makes me feel prettier and so this is the shape this is the color that i'm gonna go with and I'm officially calling this color chocolate ice cream because this is what chocolate, melted chocolate ice cream looks like. And so when I go to the store to buy my lipstick, this is the shape that I'm going to be thinking about. So when you go to the counter, you are going to be spending quite some time because you really want to get the shade right. And you really want to like look at each of them and like just kind of calibrate with your own eyes which one looks right which one doesn't look right unfortunately because of coronavirus they had to remove all of the testers and i ended up buying quite a lot of lipsticks 
even though they look really really close to each other like there's just no way to know if that's the color you're looking for unless you swatch it so you really need to swatch it this one is called habit and to me this is the one that i really gravitated to the most I feel like this matches with the color of this and matches the color of this and finally this. And then now let's pull up the one that was closest to it which is called Galore. It's more in the reddish like um, brick red side. Now let's go and check out this one called Spice, the other one that was really really coming in close. So this one is very close to chocolate ice cream, but this one is not. This speaks deep deep vampire red. Yep, that is vamp red. This is more like a berry, deep berry red. Um, let's check out the ones that I have. This is my everyday nude lip. Definitely mauve. But like, it's way too light and it's way too pink. It's not chocolate ice cream. This is my go-to brown lip. This one, surprisingly, is very, very close to habit. This is an oil-based lip tint. And as you can see, just from the bottle, the liquid, it's very chocolate ice cream. Not quite. It's very close almost to this one in the way that it's very pink. Let's check this one out. Color of the packaging tells me chocolate ice cream. Okay. Hmm. It's more mauve like these two, but it's more brown and like more toned down, you know? So I feel like on its own, it would be a great lip color for like every day, but yeah, it's not like this one. Now the last one is this. Yeah, this one is very far out. But again, on its own, is a very nice lip color for when you want like a brown, brick, orangey vibe. So... When I compare these swatches to the color that I mixed, these two come in very, very close. When picking a lip product, what you want is something that is solid enough to cover even the most intense and darkest hyperpigmentation. And it also has to be pigmented enough so that we could just dab it around the lip. Because the first telltale sign that you're wearing lipstick is if it's a block of color on your lip, even if it's a natural lip color. So that's very important. So I would recommend a cream matte lipstick. So other things I would recommend are cream lip tints, velvet lip tints, oil-based lip tints, but just the bottom line is it has to be something that's very movable and something that won't break down with lip balm. So as long as it meets those criteria, you could use it. I mean, some of the things that I got are called um, matte, suede matte lipsticks and some of them are ultra matte even, but they're very movable. We also want something that's not glossy we definitely don't want gloss but we also don't want something that's super dry that it's cracking there are two ways that i like to go about this so the first one on the start this new nuance here um is of course after exfoliating and moisturizing your lip what you're gonna do is you're just gonna dab it at the center of your lip because since we already picked the outer color as the lipstick color all you need to do is put it in the middle just to make things even and then after that you're just gonna press your lips together as if it's a lip tint and that's it
another way I like to go about this is I would put some color on my finger and that's what I'm gonna use to apply this will give it a very very natural effect even more natural than the previous technique because in harsh lighting like when there's flash or when there's sunlight the darker parts of your lip are gonna peek through a little bit but it's not so intense so it just looks very like you know um i used to have dark lips but they're so much better now they're becoming more and more even yeah if you feel like you got the closest shade possible for you but you kind of wish that it was a little bit more red which could be the case for girls or it was a little bit more brown which would be the case for guys then you could use a tinted lip balm just make sure that you actually get a lip balm that has you know actual color <laughs> so that it would actually affect your lip color I would put some lipstick on my finger and that's what I would use to apply the whole thing. Now if we're talking about a lipstick that's a little bit lighter not as pigmented a different texture then i would just like apply it straight on but kind of blur the outsides with my finger i feel like i really nailed the shade with this one because you guys see how it's almost like i'm applying nothing but when i swatch it on my hand there's it's a really solid color so that's how i know that i really got it right So that's it you guys! I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope that it helped. Even though you don't want to mix your own lip color, maybe you could just grab an artist friend and have them mix your lip color for you. I hope you guys learned a lot and let me know if you try this technique out. So that's it. If you guys want to see um, more videos have videos suggestions ideas things you want me to do just put them in the comments below i want to do them i'm gonna do them and that's it i'm gonna see you guys in my next video